are we gonna do connect four? Sure do. motel. It's an artsy motel. I stayed here before. Well, I'm here in Tucson. Yay. You know, let me just tell you, when I left yesterday, wow, it was like 27 degrees. <laughs> I was trying to wash some of the pine off of my windshield on the outside. I mean, I was just freezing. My hands were freezing. I even had a glove where my fingers are out. I couldn't deal with it. The wind was blowing and I was trying to get gas. Oh my gosh. I think what happened was I stayed one day too long, but I was looking at, you know, the weather app. Well, they change. <laughs> so I think from now on, when, if I'm in, gonna be in Flagstaff, I gotta leave like the second week of October. I was just waiting for Tucson to cool down. So I just got on the road early. It was a non-eventful um, trip, you know, the drive. So I'm really happy about that. I didn't take much footage. I really wanted to concentrate on driving and concentrate on getting there. So I didn't, um, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to getting some footage for you, but it is, it is a nice drive. It really is. My voice is, whoo. It is 4.30 in the morning. I slept in my bed. I mean, it's nice. I took, I take pictures down there. They always have pictures above the bed. Well, I'm kind of like um, freaked out about that. If somebody falls against that wall, and you know how buildings are, they're not that thick. Uh, those pictures could fall, you know, hurt me in that. <laughs> so I took them down, I put them back, put them real crooked. Are you one of those people that cannot handle crooked pictures? Oh my gosh. I am one of those, like, hmm. Let's see, are they, do they look straight? There we go. Oh, let's get up here. Oh, yeah, so I didn't, I slept last night I did actually sleep good I took some ibuprofen and I really slept good but even though even though I know Tucson very well I'm still a little out of my comfort zone after being in Flagstaff for six months maybe even longer new <laughs> new people new attitude new places to go new routines, new systems. So there's a lot I need to do to get ready, to get everything set up, like gym membership, things like that. Well, I had to, this, this hotel, motel uh, situation is not because, oh, I need to reset and take a bath, do my hair, although I did, but it was basically because I couldn't sleep in my minivan. I had so many bins. I mean, I brought some of them. One, two at the bottom, then that bin there, and my Starlink, and then there's some bags. Yeah. So, because I wanted to get in and out of my van to get things, so I just carried them in here. They're kind of heavy, but I kind of, I've lightened them up a little bit because I'm traveling solo, so I wanted to lighten them up. There we go, yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, because it is gonna be warmer, I just wanted to get my hair up. I need to make sure that I'm lathering on the uh, sunblock because I'll be walking outside more than I did in Flagstaff. My knee is good. I went to a park and I just wanted to test it out walking and it, it felt pretty good felt good. I just can't seem to do the treadmill. It hurts to do the treadmill at the gym. So I got here, drove here, got here, drove here, to got here. <laughs> Whoa. Um, and I, first thing, first things first, I washed my van. I'll tell you, the pine, 
those little droplets of pine are everywhere. Even I have found that even if I don't park under a pine tree and they're everywhere, um, you still get them. I think they just blow in the wind. So I went and I washed my van first thing and it was, it was nice. So I have a clean van on the outside, but on the inside, I do have a lot um, to do. So what I'm going to do this morning is get going and get on the phone and find a storage. My only, if it's even a dilemma, my only dilemma is where am I going to be spending most of my time here? Because it could change just because I spent it in one area last uh, season doesn't mean I'm going to do it this year. So I'm really trying to kind of see where, because I want it to be accessible. I don't want to be driving uh, long, uh, just wasting gas. And Flagstaff is six miles from the beginning to the end. It kind of goes like this. And Route 66 is so much a part of Flagstaff, right? I mean, there's north and south, but they're just little streets to get from one, the east side and the west side. Well, in Tucson, that's a whole lot of difference. <laughs> there's like uh, over a million people, you know, in Tucson and surrounding areas, yeah. So it's not Phoenix, but I imagine over the over the period, time period, it could become. But yeah, so there's, mm, there's so many options. There are so many planet fitnesses. And I mentioned, I'm so excited. I'm kind of jumping around because, you know, my mind is, woo, <laughs> whoa. Um, I'm really excited for January 1st because I really want to go and check out LA Fitness, and then there's uh, two or three different YMCA's in Tucson, so, and they got pools. And, so we shall see with the um, silver sneakers, you know, there's quite a bit the silver sneakers will handle. Um, and I checked it out, I got the app downloaded, silver sneakers app on iPhones only, on Apple only. And yeah, it looks uh, looks pretty interesting. For me, it's like saving money. I mean, where I can, right? Because I'm going to be getting a storage. I mean, I think it's going to be a lot cheaper than a flight staff. <laughs> it was last year. Who knows? Prices going up. Well, I'll tell you. Um, getting in Flagstaff the last day that I was here in Flagstaff, getting ready, I went in and got water. I don't like to, you know, it would bring the weight down if I didn't travel with all my water filled, but still I'm a little nervous with that because if anything happens, I would love, I don't want to be without water, you know? So, but water, it was 25. Then within um, the time of being in, in Flagstaff, it went up to 29. It's up to 36 cents right now. So it's, which is no big deal, but it just shows how prices are going up on everything. So, well, last night, my daughter came over, and so we walked around. It's sort of an artsy um, motel. It's, it's real quirky, which goes with my personality, don't you think? It's very quirky. It's a quirky motel. It's, it's kind of famous. So we went up. They had a fire, and they have a fire uh, system, and uh, they have games. They have a lobby, it's really cool. It's really nice. So we kind of hopped around different areas to have a conversation. At one point she came in here, she laid on one side, I laid on the other. And we just discussed our lives. <laughs> it was fun. And uh, so I'm gonna help her in the next few months with a lot of things because she's uh, getting her um, private practice together. And uh, she needs she needs a mom's advice on uh, websites, you know, all that jazz, yeah. Social media, video. She says it took her three hours to do this stupid little video that should have taken three minutes. But you know, it really depends on for all of you. It really depends on the software that you're using, and then you have to learn that software. I can I can do them quickly because I know my software.
Oh, I want to tell you about their breakfast. They have a breakfast here at this hotel. Motel. I keep saying hotel. It's a motel. And it is supposedly some Guinness World Record thing. The longest running oatmeal breakfast <laughs> for a hotel. Well, it is pretty darn cool because what they do is they've got, they it opens at six. They're getting it ready right now. And they have a huge, it's, it's the largest crock pot. And they make oatmeal, good oatmeal. And then when you walk in, they've got little trays and it goes, um, you start with the coffee or, or tea and they've got the, the creamer, the half and half or the uh, regular milk or 2% and they're in those um, like old fashioned uh, milk bottles. So you can, you know, do your coffee. Then you move over. They've got Pop-Tarts and a toaster. I don't really use those. I've heard that Pop-Tarts, they're not even um, allowed to sell them in some countries. I guess they're that bad. I, I did not know that. I read that somewhere. Anyways, um, and then you get to him and he says, do you want oatmeal? So he puts it in a bowl for you. And then he'll put the milk in for you if that's what you want. Then there's a buffet of items, little bowls of items, uh, little chocolate chips, all kinds of dried fruits, you know, dried bananas, every nut you can think of, chia seeds, hemp seeds. It, it, it's huge. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go down and get, and get a little bit of oatmeal. I could use some good energy right now. So I'm pretty excited about that, but it doesn't open till six, so I had to go do my coffee, my own coffee. The lobby is locked, unless there's an emergency. Yeah. <laughs> and then they have, it's all artsy, they have this um, on the door. They've got a chalkboard. Over here's a little holder for the chalk. <laughs> I know. With, with a little eraser, it's, it's so, this is off. Uh, this is an interesting, this was mine. Yeah. This has been painted on right here. This is mine. And then my daughter wrote this one. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. Between something happening and a response to it, there's a space. We all know that. This space offers choice. How will you respond? cockeyed. <laughs> I do kind of feel that. Um, going to a whole new place. My goodness. Well, okay. Let's get real. I am a little tired still. A little punch drunk. Um, this isn't a whole new place, but it is a new uh, place for me to acclimate into, um, you know, new attitudes, new people. Yeah. Black stuff is definitely different. Well, I'll have a lot more for you tomorrow. Tomorrow, oh, you bet. And uh, I'll get some film of what I did today. And I'm sure it's gonna be quite a bit. Or maybe not, maybe I'll just fall back asleep. <laughs> I love you guys, I do. Um, good things are coming our way, aren't they? They really are. I'm excited. You know, we get one time around here and we might as well use it to our advantage, right? And have fun with it, have some fun. My daughter and I, I will mention, we're both in our family. Um, we're all kind of quirky. We just are, we like to have fun, we like to laugh. We like to, we're, not, we're definitely not sedate people. We're more, um, we're more, uh, I would say, warm or hot, you know? I mean, we just like, 
We want to embrace life. We want to have fun. We want to meet new people. We want to contemplate what is, what's going on here. And we like to, we're very social. So we had a good time last night and we did a lot of talking, my daughter and I. And it's fun to see, isn't it fun to watch our children grow up? It really is. And see who they become. They, they're almost like us, only different. Different. Hmm. That's very odd. <laughs> I love you guys. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and go to minivanlee.com. If, if, I know I didn't put my neck gaiter on. If you want neck gaiters and stuff. Look how easy that was to put on. Didn't mess my hair up. Goes right back. See, now it looks more like a, a turtleneck and it is a little chilly out there. Love you. Is that, that one's been here uh, before? There's uh, should be something that you pull out from. <laughs> <laughs> 